the simple part that most people don't understand is that every thought we think and every word we speak is creating our future. It's as though our thoughts go out into the universe and are accepted and brought back to us as experience. Now that is a very simple thing, but most people don't get it, they don't understand it, they've never heard it before and they think it's ridiculous. But if you can really accept the fact that every time you think a thought and every time you speak a word, you are literally painting your future, uh, making your dinner, uh, whatever you want to call it, you are creating. And you're creating your own life. And this is simple, but it's not easy to accept. But once you accept it, then you can start deliberately creating what you want in your life. And you begin to be aware of what you don't want in your life and how you are contributing to it. See, most of us just think, 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 and we don't pay any attention to what we're thinking. We're just doing it. But that's a, something you need to train yourself to do. To begin to train yourself to be aware of what you're thinking. And, and one of the ways to do that is to periodically say to yourself, what am I thinking? Would I like this thought to create my life? Would I like to have the experience that this thought could bring to me? Now it takes a while to do that, but even if we could begin on the smallest level to be aware of our thinking, we can start to make changes. To begin with, you start by doing what we call doing affirmations, and that is making positive statements about your life that are positive, and you do them deliberately. If you think of doing your positive affirmations, it's like planting a seed in the ground. It's not necessarily true at the moment, but it is something you want to have be true. So you put the seed in, and you, you, you plant a seed and you expect it to grow. And you don't wait two days and then dig in the earth and say, what's happening, what's happening? You expect that thing to grow because you know there's a law and a process. And the seed will grow if it is in the right soil and it has the right amount of moisture. Making it really a habit and doing it every day, uh, doing something every morning when you wake up, that's a really good time. And another good time is when you go to sleep at night. And, and gratitude works a lot. Uh, it, just being grateful for everything. The more I always say the universe loves gratitude. The more you're grateful for what the good is in your life, the more good you get to be grateful about. Mm -hmm. Well, there are lots of things you can do to help you become more conscious of what is going on. And because so many of our belief systems really are unconscious or subconscious, we're not aware of them, they're just things that were bred into us as we were children, uh, is to take a little time to figure out what they are. So you can really begin to realize what you do believe about these things. So you can't change your thoughts if you don't know what your thoughts are. There is a law of thinking and we are beginning to learn about it. And it is like a computer. If you have this gorgeous computer put in front of you and you don't know what to do with it, it's a piece of junk. But if you learn the language of the computer, miracles happen. And that is what the law of thinking is. When you learn how it works, miracles happen.